we are celebrating the baptism of two children. We have a mother and a father and family members, grandparents, great aunts, and all those family and friends that have come to stand with Jamie as she presents her two children to be baptized. Baptism is God's initiation into our life. Often we have the concept that baptism is where I do something for God, whereas in reality it's where God does something for us. We don't discover God. God is reaching out to us every moment of every day, bringing to us moments where God says, I am here. Baptism is a significant step where God moves in the life of an infant, a child, a youth, or an adult. And so Jamie has brought her two sons to be baptized. In doing this, because they're not able to speak their own faith, she stands in behalf of, their fam of the family and their faith, as does the rest of the family and friends, to say they are going to help Jamie to raise these children in Christian environment, to help them to understand who God is until they can make the decision on their own. So we come to that point now. Jamie, as we stand here, I have a couple of questions to ask you, and then I'm going to ask family and friends that stand with you, okay? Do you, do you see yourself up there, Aiden? Huh? Okay. Do you promise to raise these children in an environment that is as Christ-like as you possibly can? And if you agree, say, I do. Now, to you, grandmother and father and family, Friends, do you promise to help Jamie raise these two in that same kind of environment where they can see Christ? And if you agree, say, we do. Jamie, on behalf of the church, I need for you to profess your faith in Jesus Christ, promising to serve him in your whole life, and that in doing so, your children will see that example. And if you agree, say, I do. Do you believe that the Bible contains in the Old and New Testament the Word of God spoken to us to help us to deal with good and evil in the world? And if you agree, say, I do. Now to you, the church, do you promise to help Jamie raise these sons in a place where they can see Christ through your words and your actions, that you will help her in this environment of hope of safety, and of Christ's presence. And if you agree, say, we do. Okay. You want to go first, Aiden? No? You want me to do the baby first? Okay, let me do the baby first then. Come here, baby. There we go. Isn't he beautiful? What name is given this boy? Okay. Do you like my glasses? Okay. Caleb, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, I thank you for this child and what he means in this family and what he's going to mean in this world. We ask that you would bless him and that you would bring him into your kingdom and that he would one day stand and profess faith. Bless him in his years ahead. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We've had enough of the water. Okay. Okay. Aiden? Aiden, what is your full name? Aiden Bryce Carter, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, I want to thank you for Aiden and who he is and just the mind you have given him, the questions he has. I thank you for those who have blessed his life and are going to bless his life. Be with him in this time as he continues to learn more of who you are where he can stand before you as a person of faith. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Jamie, I pray God's blessing upon you and your sons, your mother, your family and friends, that in the years ahead, I hope you feel our support and we promise to help you with these boys that they may know who Christ is and support you in times of strength and in times of need. In Jesus' name, amen. Would you welcome the two newest members of Chapel Hill? Thank you.